man, good morning, YouTube. It's noon. So today I was wandering around, wondering what to do for my question today. Then it came to my mind, what about all these new diseases that have been popping up left and right because of various problems with air quality and obesity and all these other things that some of them we can't even control. So today's question I have for you is what disease do you think will be cured sooner in the next upcoming years? And now we are live on Ustream and the poll has started. Our options for the question which disease do you think is most likely to be cured in the upcoming years? Cancer, heart disease, autism, and Down syndrome. Cystic fibrosis, bonus option, and or something else that you can specify in the comments. And so, as normal, I have created a few research tabs here. Cystic fibrosis, which I currently have, is um, the it causes the chlo sodium chloride or the salt in your body to not be transferred to the right places and it causes the mucus to be really thick and that can cause lung problems and digestive problems so the lungs pancreas liver intestines those all are attacked by it now normally with this genetic disorder there are two parts the lung parts which either it's severe asthma or the digestive part for me i have a lot harder digestive part and actually a better lung system however that's not usually the case i have the delta mutation which is actually a lot more rare and the normal one it's normally a lot harder time breathing then of course cancer which everyone should know tumors building up in certain places and depending on where they build up and kill that organ they could cause a lot of deaths Mo most of cancer deaths 22 percent of them are caused by tobacco another 10 percent of obesity caused and a lot of other th of them that aren't really in the u.s but um other diseases being built up while you have cancer like in um, not as clean places like Africa and Asia can actually cause um, cancer inside of the flesh itself and not an actual organ that can cause serious problems. Then of course heart disease normally caused by obesity um, making it where your heart can't keep up with pumping blood through your body because you have too much body fat it can cause heart failure, hypertensive heart disease, and a whole bunch of them, which if I try to pronounce, I will definitely mess up. <laughs> and because of this, there, we have a little chart here. It's actually, surprisingly, the most built up is in Russia, more uh, second stage in Africa and Brazil, and the U.S. is surprisingly only in the mid-range on that one <coughs> which I myself would not have expected um, and screening and prevention here there's just so many different things that can cause it and mostly it's tobacco and obesity that causes this and just another one that goes to show how much addiction are causing so many terrible problems with people now. Then of course autism, uh, uh, neurodevelopmental disorder, in other words, um, it slows the uh, evolution and development of a child's mind. Um, there are multiple stages of this as I've seen um, classification schemes like, uh, here we go, um, we have the high functioning where it just causes them sometimes you can't even tell sometimes it's 
high class, high functioning, where you can tell that they have something about them that causes something, but there's no, um, there's nothing that really stops them from, oh, how do I say it, from being in control of their body. Uh, however, there are others like, that you hardly could even tell, but others that you can extremely tell because, like in wheelchairs and stuff, that they can't even control themselves because their brain can't develop. I've seen, like, people my age that can't even control their body because their brain can't develop, and it's just sad. And then we also have Down syndrome, um, also known as trus trisomy 21, another genetic disorder caused by all or part of the third copy of chromosome 21. Um, causes physical growth delays in facial features and intellectual disability. The average IQ of a young adult with Down syndrome is 50, the equivalent mental age of an 8 or 9 year old. But also, it's not absolutely positive. It's just slightly, it's not positive that that will happen. It varies. Um, there, it can cause um, another disease like heart disease or even um, cause nerves to die and it also increases the risk of cancer. All this eventually can't be, it cannot be screened um, before birth so it is highly common but not as common as say autism is. Um, and once again, just like autism, if it causes this mental state where they can't, like, they can't age in their mind, they can't develop, and this causes them to, even as 20 or 30 year olds, only have the mind of a 9 to 12 year old. And I'm sorry, I just can't catch my tongue right now. I'm, I don't know. But we right now have no live viewers. Once again, I'll be putting this on YouTube, Facebook, and all the other Agent Miniman sites. I am upstairs in my house right now with the better computer. Well, not a better computer, but we do have the better webcam. So that's the big thing. Hopefully by the end of the month, I'll have my own better 1080p HD webcam um, but at the end of this week I will no longer be doing the poll at the start of the episode but uh, that Monday I will do a little kind of a talk almost vlog that will have the poll at the very end of the episode in the last five to two minutes. Um, once again, all these diseases, um, so cystic fibrosis and Down syndrome are genetic, so they can't be prevented directly. But autism is caused by, it is partially genetic, but also partially because of um, certain drug like tobacco and alcohol. Cardiovascular disease, mostly obesity and tobacco. And cancer, there's so many causes for like millions of different types of it that it would take me another hour to go through. And I know people with all of these. I do myself have cystic fibrosis. Um, if you have any questions about that, I'll leave the link to the official site of all these diseases down in the comments below when it gets on YouTube. Um, right now we are 10 of the 15 minutes in and I think I might just close it up but if you do want if you have any questions you can contact me at my email right here um, and we will see you tomorrow.